uh, with so much going on, guys are jumping ship. Uh, you've been a part of an era where that was commonplace. Uh, the first big name, it seems, to be walking away is Dean Ambrose is leaving WWE. I mean, what do you what do you make of his decision to do that right now in this landscape? Well, I can't speak for, for Dean, but, you know, I've always been one to just leave when I'm not happy, and that's a great mindset. Uh, when I left WWE in uh, 2007, uh, Chris Benoit said, you know, a lot of us boys respect you, man, because you know when it's time to go. A lot of us don't. And it's, and, and it's kind of chilling to, to think about that, is that he was saying that, that his mindset made him feel like he was shackled and couldn't get away, you know, like it's a sentencing. And it's not, dude. It's a job. Um, I think that's great for someone to walk away. I left WCW in 93, uh, and uh, Chris Benoit back then said, I think you're stupid for leaving. You know how many people would want your job? You're on TV. Where are you going to go, to the Indies? And, uh, and, you know, maybe he was right uh, from the mindset of tradition, but it never, it definitely worked best for me, though. I went from being unhappy to, to being happy and making more money. So anybody that wants to do that now, I'm not surprised. Um, you know, I can't be as shocked as the rest of the world. There were times when I was miserable and was counting the days till the end of my contract uh, because I was tired of the um, monotony of being on the road the politics, whatever, you know, and I dreamed of having a Saturday off, you know, a weekend when I could actually go somewhere I was invited. And so now my life is a lot more about that, and I'm happier still.